Vegas, Nevada, cooking KCB sanctioned tournament. Uh, we've got brisket, uh, pork shoulders, all now. We'll cook our ribs and our, our chicken later, and then it's not judged until later in the evening. Uh, Chip Troy uh, drove out here and left on uh, Monday. It's about a 39 hour drive. Uh, the rest of us, we flew in on uh, Thursday night. Right. Thursday night, so today's is going to tell it all. Hope we did well with our, with our cooking. Feel good about what we've got to offer today. What do you think it costs you to get here? What's it going to cost? This trip going to cost us? Uh, this trip going to cost about $6,000. Motel, plane tickets, gas, everything. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. But don't cover it up. Where? Yeah, right there. That's good. Richard, you're so picky. Uh, I'm Paul Kirk, also known as Kansas City Baron of Barbecue, and I'm cooking on Smoke and Mirrors Barbecue Team out of Prairie Village, Kansas, suburb of Kansas City. What are you doing right here? Well, I'm getting ready to marinate my chickens, uh, season them. I cook my chickens cut in half whole. How many pounds of chicken do you suppose that is? Right there, oh, we say, what? 16, 15, 16. No, uh, more than that. It's about 30, 32 pounds. They're a little over four pounds a piece, eight of them. How are you going to prep them? I'm going to marinate them and then I'm going to season them with sugar and spice and everything nice. How long do you marinate them? Oh, about three hours. And liquid marinade? Yeah. Then you rub them? Then I put a dry marinade on or a rub. What are some of the things in your tube? Not everything, Dad, just some of the things. Sugar and spice and everything nice. <laughs> Sugar and salt. Cayenne. The garlic. Pepper. Freeman Companies, and we're from Dallas, Texas. Um, Joe Sixpack needs to go to a butcher shop and get a good cut of brisket. You've got to season it with a Lowry season salt or something like 24 hours in advance. Rub it in with your hands, not too heavy. And just let it marinate for about 24 hours prior to putting it on the grill. And you put it on the grill at about 250, 275 degrees. And always cook it with the fat side up for the entire duration of the time. It should take them from 5 to 8 hours to cook it. That's for brisket. Pork shoulder, that's an 8 hour process. Uh, again, we we did inject it with a needle syringe with garlic and uh, oil, various other things. Uh, and let we'll that set for a minute, and then we'll put it on the grill in tin foil and baste it with sauce throughout the cooking time, and it's about an eight-hour project. Great. Are. Bubba's got a top secret. What we right now we're at uh, booth number six at Las Vegas, the very first cook-off in Las Vegas, Nevada. And what we've done to these baby backs is trimmed them out, put our own special rib rub on them, and we're letting them sweat before we put them on the fire. They're How long you let them? Out, and they are looking good. How long you let them sweat? We've been letting them sweat for this contest for two and a half hours. It, what's the temperature outside right now? Though? Temperature outside is running about 48 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got about 22% humidity out here, and it's just been real nice to the main. It's just beautiful. What are some of the things in your rug? Pardon? What are some of the things in your rug? Oh, we've got uh, three different kinds of sugars and four different kinds of peppers. Bye -bye. 
lot of, a lot of people tell you different ways to cook barbecue, and, and there's lots of secrets and lots of tips and uh, different ways to do it. Some people say you should put a dry rub on. Some people say you shouldn't. Some people say you should marinate your meat. Some people say you shouldn't. There's a lot of good ways to do it. Some people say baste it with sauce. Some people say serve it with sauce. Some people say don't do it. But all the only tip I can truly give you is just cook it good. That's the best way. <laughs> Ribs. We got ribs. Ribs in here. Get your ribs out. Yeah. How long do you cook your ribs? Ribs. We're actually going to cook about four hours today. Barbecue TV. All right. Hey, this is important over here. <laughs> yeah, the Bloody Mary man. That's more important than these damn ribs are. You got a bloody marrow back you Thank you. A night in old Savannah blues and barbecue. Friday, April 17th and Saturday, April 18th. Tickets at the gate. A night in old Savannah blues and barbecue. Friday, April 7th. Damage cut the bottom of the stem off. Flip it over, get your bad leaves off the floor. Take the butcher knife, come halfway down. Halfway down. Turn it. Quarter it. Quarter it. Take your saw. Get inside your leaves. About that much. About that much. Black pepper. Of course, this is for taste. Here for Texas, we're going to make it a little hot. Garlic powder. Same thing. Nice in there. Half a stick of butter. Handful of dried onion or fresh onion. Get it on there, and we got to get the loom of foil out here. Take the Creo seasoning, wrap it up. All you do after that, you get the loom of foil out. If we get the loom of foil out, it's the loom of foil out. A large piece of foil. Large piece. Put it down here. Wrap it up real tight. And all you do after that is take it, put it on the pit at 250 degrees. For how long? For two hours. So it's real moist. When you push in the sides and just about touch, then it's done. That's all there is to it. Uh, they do these a lot in the Lafayette area. New primaries will take a lot of turkey sachet. We open the chicken up, take all the, uh, the neck, the liver, everything out of it, throw it all away because we don't want it with this. Use a little Tony Sashway seasoning or any kind of uh, Creole seasoning. We coat the chicken inside and out very generously. All the way up on the inside, turn them over, make sure it's all rubbed in good. Underneath the wings, on the back. Very good seasoning. It's, even though it's a very hot, spicy seasoning, it's, a lot of it, a lot of the heat cooks out uh, on the pit. We take the chicken, take about a, any kind of cold beer you might have handy, anything doesn't have to be cold, usually about a quarter to a half full. Take it, shove it up inside the chicken. And uh, we have another name for us our uh, beer butt line dancing chickens. We then uh, stand it up on the pit, took it for an hour and a half to two hours. When it splits on the back side of the thigh here, that means the chicken is done to the bone. It's steamed internally. It's very, very nice. It's coated with a little bit of olive oil during the cooking process. That's it. You baste it on? It's basted uh, with olive oil after about the first 30 minutes.